news out of Thunder Bay, Ontario. That's where a suspect in the killing of a teenager has appeared in court today. The man faces a charge of second-degree murder over the death of Braden Jacob. The arrest comes as the city's police force faces extra scrutiny amid allegations of systemic racism. Megan Roberts is covering that story for us. So, Megan, what is the latest? We do now know the identity of that suspect, and we know that he has appeared in court. His name is Jonathan Yellowhead. He was remanded in custody, and he will next appear in court on Tuesday. He's from Port Hope, Fort Hope, Ontario, and he's also facing a breach of probation. So he was arrested last night, 22 years old. Again, the suspect's name is Jonathan Yellowhead. He was charged with second-degree murder, as well as facing that breach of Probation. This all in connection with the death of Braden Jacob from Webaquay First Nation. You can see a photo of Braden there. He was reported missing on December the 6th in Thunder Bay. And after three days of searching, his body was found by a passerby in a park. Now, the Thunder Bay acting deputy chief said that the postmortem examination showed that there was some trauma to Jacob. He said he can't say more because the case is still under investigation and that is part of the investigation but the latest is that the suspect has appeared in court 22 year old Jonathan Yellowhead from Fort Hope Ontario again charged with second degree murder Natasha and all of this follows two damning reports into Thunder Bay police just in the last few days so what do we learn from those reports well, certainly there'll be a lot of eyes on the Thunder Bay police force as they investigate Jacob's case because those two reports said that there was systemic racism in the Thunder Bay Police Service and the Thunder Bay Police Board. The first report was by the Ontario Police Watchdog. It said that this systemic racism exists in the police force, and it actually said there were nine investigations into the deaths of Indigenous people that were so problematic that they should be reopened. It said there was a crisis of trust between Indigenous people and the Thunder Bay Police Force. Now, the second report was about the police board, and it said that the Thunder Bay Police Board should be disbanded for a year, an administrator appointed, and that the existing members of that board, with the exception of the newly appointed chair, should not come back to their jobs. The chair being the sole person who should come back. She is the first Indigenous person appointed to the chair and she was elected only a few days before all of this happened. So some very strong language in those two different reports about the police force and the police board in Thunder Bay. No doubt to bring more scrutiny to them as they move forward with Jacob's case and with other cases involving Indigenous peoples, Natasha.